Hi guys, it's Stephanie with the Soul Sister Monarch channel and it's time to do your weekly reads. So we're going to first do the error signs. That's who we're going to do first. Um, I don't know if I told you guys. I think I did last week. But anyway, we are going to do a contest for you guys, okay? And the contest is for all the different signs, how I break them down in the elements. Um, so, so far, in we have in the lead, we have the air signs. They're leading, then we have the water signs, then we have the fire signs, and then the earth signs are coming in last. So, the most views at the end of the month gets an extra read. So, anyways, um, I also want to talk about, we had some pretty heavy energies this weekend. Different planets aligning, shifting, moons um, going around. Anyways, look at pink moon. That's another moon that will be another super moon that's taken off. Plus, there'll be a strawberry. So look at that as well. Um, the the chakra card I pulled up for you guys for that you need to work on is your moonstone. Okay, so you need to work on your it's like sorry your it's your crown chakra. So, um, here is a moonstone. So grab you guys, get yourself some moonstone, start using this, working with it, putting it on you, in your pocket, your bra, whatever. Whatever works for you. Um, but you need to work my air signs on your crown chakra. Um, also, moonstone, as you are going through the moon cycles, moonstone helps you get through some of the ascension symptoms. Some of the things going on with the moon cycles and make that transition much better, okay? So, we're going to use my Truth Seeker Tarot and the yeah, Arcanum Tarot, okay? Both of those, will st I started out, I shuffled the course, cleared out these cards. And the first card that came up is the World card. So this is a cycle over so for somebody. Um, done, complete. So you guys, whatever you have been working on in the last week, you finally close out a cycle. Something that you needed to close out, okay? All right, so we're gonna put that back in and we're gonna shuffle, see what other messages, what's going on. Hope you guys, like I said, had a great, fabulous weekend. And if you had some major transitions or Things that you closed out that it wasn't so hard on you because it was on a lot of people, I'm very well aware. So, anywho, let's see what we got going, Spirit, for our air signs. Let's see. Mm. All right. I am also going to do a video just on crystals. My cousin has requested I do this. A video, so I'm doing this for Miss Kelly Katz and her daughter Maddie. We Skyped this weekend for like three hours. Cards, doing their cards and different things. It was so much fun. I just love those girls. I'm so grateful for her. Anywho, here we go. My air signs. What is going on? We know the overall energy is okay. It was the um. Uh, world card. So, cycle over cycle closed out. Took care of some situations. Queen of Pentacles. This is the overall energy. So, this tells me, you guys, you are working on money. But, we also got the hangman here too. So, that's that's Taurus energy. Um, the hangman here. This is you having a decision about something that you're swaying back and forth on. You're stuck there. Well, ha! This tells me it's over. Yes. You made your decision. No more heartbreak. You're done. Close the door. Took the garbage out. Good girl. Whoever that is. Or girl. Yeah. No more. No more heartbreak. No more mind games. No more effort. No more none of that crap going on with you guys, right? You made some decisions and stood in your power. Yeah. Three of Cups. So, the Three of Cups is water energy. Yep. Three of Cups. That, I just, that's a major sign right there. Do you hear the ding? Okay. So, this is celebration now. You, well, it's in, I put it back in. But anyway, 
The world card. You're closed out of cycle. You've been working on your money. This is the queen that she, she's she been working on her money. She's a classy girl. Um, she stands in her ground. She knows what she wants. She's not a player. Noob, noob, noob. She's too good for that crap. Um, and so she's been busy. She's been, this could be somebody that's working on their business, a new idea, a new adventure. Um, but it's all about the money. And because she was in hangman mode, like I said, and her heart was broken, but it is not now. Nope, she's come out of that heartbreak. Yes, she has. And so now she's gonna have a celebration. So because of getting out of this three-party energy, all these cups now are being pulled, I mean, poured into one cup, okay? So that's great. There'll be some kind of celebration coming on. Now, we do have the Queen of Cups as well. But this queen came reversed in the deck. So this is an emotional energy. This is a queen that could be very manipulative. This is Scorpio energy. So maybe Queen of Pentacles here needs to watch out for Scorpio, okay? There could be some Scorpio says that they're your friend, they're not. Or it could be a male that he lives in that very feminine side of his energy and he's completely detached or being manipulative. It's one or the two. Um, so that's Scorpio energy. Then we have uh, Taurus energy here and we have the Hierophant upside down. So this is this could be a lot of different things because this comes in the reverse, okay? So this has to do with this Queen of Cups. So, and then you got this Queen of Pentacles here. So. That, so we said there was a three-party situation here. So this Queen of Pentacles knows all about this Queen of Cups. Mm -hmm. And more than likely, she was probably Im involved with this Taurus somehow here. Libra, um, Gemini, Aquarius. But we've got Taurus here on the board, but this is an air, air reading. Um, but this could have been a proposal once that was like, somebody denied it they took it back they don't want to do it anymore it's just like they're done they're over it's not gonna happen so there's a very 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 good possibility there um this could also be like legal stuff okay this could be secrets this could be and, and having this here reversed this could be some scorpio here that's involved in some stuff that is going to end up getting them in some big trouble so let's see let's clarify that yeah let's clarify that we're gonna clarify that because kind of funny because I, I pulled out some Oracle cards I always do so we have some clarifiers and I shoveled shuffled shuffled flip the deck over BAM look what you got see that so I'm sure this person here and this person here Scorpio and Taurus that is what all this is about that this now isn't going to affect this person. Got it? Okay. So we have a Taurus female here. We have a, we do have a, it could be a um, Scorpio female. It could be a Taurus. Let's see. What is about this Hierophant in this queen? Hierophant in this queen. Tell us more. Tell us more. Hmm. 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 So. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, High Priestess of Air. Okay? So, this is the Libra, the Gemini Aquarius here, that's standing in their High Priestess power. Okay? That means they're listening to spirit. They're paying attention to their intuition. That's how they were able to come out of this Three of Swords. So, congrats. 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 So that means moved forward out of that. And this was, it. this came reversed. So the love wasn't true. It wasn't real love. It came out reversed. I flipped it up, but it came out reversed. So she smartened up. She used her intuition and in everything. Now, the fake hope that was given to her, she doesn't buy it anymore. Mm -mm. No, or he. This is not, you know, specific genders. But yeah. Mm. Not buying it anymore. That came out the reverse. All right, tell me one more spare. What else do you have? Flip 
Poppers. Mmm. Ha! There we go. I Again, look. Yeah, it's on the bottom again. This was all over lust. Lust, lust, lust. So that's what that was over. All right, so we clarified that. So let's go forward again. Let's do a little shuffling here. Let's see. That was overall past energy. What has been going on? What has been... What is getting worked through? So that's very positive, very good. Alrighty. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Okay. All right. So, remember, we were talking about this Queen of Cups reversed, unemotional, don't know, detached, manipulative. This could be a friend to another friend. Well, the Empress comes in the reverse, okay? So, that's Libra energy again. And Spirit's telling me right now, this is the nasty one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? We want the Empress forward. When she's forward, the Empress is all the queens in the deck and the high priestess, okay? When she comes out reversed, she's nasty B. Nasty, nasty, nasty. So, this Queen of Cups here. Hold on. Yeah. They both want, we want them like this. They both have come like this. Yeah. Okay? So, yeah, this, this Queen of Cups, she's now gone. I can't tell you how many notches down and backwards. So the Scorpio Queen right here, yeah, she's 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 not doing good. So she's got some kind of a plan here. And the Taurus energy though was in the the Four of Swords. This is the contemplating. This is before the change. This is figuring things out deciding what you need to do it's kind of going into hermit energy yeah meditation figuring things out okay that was in the reverse so this person is out of that they they're 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 good they're gonna go forward they're gonna work on their pentacles okay this is ace of pentacles so they're moving forward they're back down to one but they're working on their pentacles all right so that's here spirit All right, yeah, three of wands, okay? So, now we have a situation where somebody, like I said, back here, this just verifies, coming out of this three of swords, not wanting to be a part of a third party, the heartbreak being done, this is putting down those three, okay? He, see, he's holding on to one now. Decided. One. One dis one choice. Okay? All right. Four of Pentacles. That queen that's unemotional. Mm-hmm. It's coming in backwards is the Empress, which is nasty, nasty, nasty. Yep. See, them? it's all about money. There's a secret about money. There's four Pentacles there. There's a secret going on needs to be revealed so somebody something going on with money but it's going backwards so it's not good so that's got to get figured out spirit tell us more about this forward not backward okay yeah king of pentacles okay that's good that's good that's good because we're going back here we've got the queen taurus energy king taurus energy okay forward all right so there's a king coming for a queen which we want a king, we don't want the knight. All right, he's coming with passion. Lots of passion. Lots of good energy here, okay? This could be a message coming in. This could be a visit coming in. Um, yep, the wheel is turning now. Mm-hmm, the wheel's turning. That's great, all right? So the wheel's turning. All right, we're gonna 
pull out my other deck here for a sec. Okay, so that same thing. <laughs> three of wands. When I shuffled this, same thing. Three of wands. We have. Let's see what's here. Three of wands. Three of wands. I saw it. Three of wands. Yep. Here we go. Three of wands. Okay. Three of wands again. Confirmation. Getting rid of those third party choices. Why? Because he wants this. The Ten of Cups. He wants the Ten of Cups. He's coming for his. This is you, Libras. Aquarius and Gemini. You're standing in your queen. And where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? The king. I had the king out. Where did he go? Oh, sorry. The king. And this is you guys. I, this is like a power couple. These two can be a power couple together. Very money driven, very money oriented. They could work on a great business adventure together. Okay, so there you go. Then it's even funny on the bottom, the high priestess. Okay, so that means these people are listening to their intuition, they're listening to their higher good. They know, they know, they have mastered that skill. Is connecting in with the divine. We just had one that popped out. Emperor. Okay. Getting in your emperor energy. This is Aries. Aries energy. That's the all the kings together. That's all the kings. All right. All in one. That's who as the masculine he wants to raise up to be. So that's awesome. This queen of pentacles coming for his queen of pentacles. Okay, so it could have happened or it could happen within the next week. These are just weekly energies. Remind yourself that, okay? All right, let's see what else this deck says. I'll pull you some messages. Then if you would like more detailed reading, get a hold of me. We can do it. I love Skyping and doing reads. That, it makes it fun because it's just like we're there together, so. Feel free, message me. You may also email me. Soul Sister951 at gmail.com. Find me on Messenger. You go to my Facebook site, Soul Sister Enterprises. I'm also on Instagram, Soul Sister V. You may find me there as well. Oh, I don't know if I told you guys, May 11th is the next moon that'll be a full moon we're going into and, and i'll give you guys some numbers as well okay let's see what we got going oh. okay <laughs> kina cups see now we got a kina cups here too so this could be multiple choices for libra gemini and aquarius you could have a king of cups you could have an emperor you could have the king of pentacles so you got scorpio on the board aries on the board you got taurus on the board um you got cancer as well and you got virgo so he has been in hermit energy the king of cups has been sitting back hanging out this is like getting some divine guidance wisdom could be studying it could be doing some school working on a new project studying for something saw the ace of pentacles come through we also had that on the board working on our money so that goes back to the king and queen of pentacles seven of wands this is lots of love lots of emotions this king's got a he's ready to talk he's ready to talk yep and he has been back sitting and working on his ten of pentacles okay so you guys have a lot of good coming this week you, you really really do because we also had ten of cups yeah 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 yeah. we had ten of cups too all right i had ten of cups as well so that that's the that's what we all want you want the ten of cups that's the family that's your kids that's everybody happy that's all the love that's somebody pouring all their love into you okay what else spirit Okay, hmm. now, I don't know, we got the king of wands, though. So you got also a king of wands, but he was reversed, okay? So it could mean that you got a king of wands here. This is Aries, Leo, or Sag energy that could be coming in very fiery. So 
when this king comes in and he's upright, he's still naughty. But now he's coming in reversed, okay? So, it, I mean, we have two things here this could be. It could be that he's done being coming in as the player, come in, sleep with you, eat your food, head on to the next girl's house, okay? He, 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 he might be, he's like, I don't know. Could be this king of cups going i don't want to do that anymore and that he's out of that energy okay because then the ten of swords came in reverse when the ten of swords is forward that cycles over it's like like that person's dead the situation's dead when it comes reverse to me what spirit is telling me with the two of these together he's done he doesn't want to be the player anymore he doesn't want to hurt people anymore he's done he he's pulled all those swords out of his back and now he wants to come charging in to pull them out of everybody else's back that he stuck them into okay so that's a good thing that's a very good 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 thing all right ace of cups see that he wants to come in with his cup of love and this is the good one because this cup is overflowing. It's not empty. It's not half full. It's overflowing. He's got lots of love and he doesn't want to give it to three. He wants to give it to one. Okay. It's probably this Queen of Pentacles here. Alright. Then we have the Queen of Swords. Okay. There you guys are, my air signs. The Queen of Swords. Uh, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Okay. This is the Queen. That she doesn't put up a crap. No, 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 no. She's straightforward. She'll tell you how it is. You come in and you come not correct. She'll just chop your head off. Yep. Five of cups. Okay. This is her. She sat back. She's thought. She's listened to her intuition. She's been through a lot of stuff. Yeah, she's been through a lot. And she's waited. And now, you see her cup stacked up right there? The five of cups. So in this deck, she's waiting. She's waiting for the right one. She's not just gonna pick any cup and she'll let all these, she'll even walk past all these cups. <laughs> Spirit says she will not put up with fake offers. She's not going to take any player energy. The minute she senses it, off with your head. Mm-hmm, yeah, off with your head. So come in correct, because she was like that. That's what they're telling me, okay? There's somebody out here with a lot. Of, this is a lot of Scorpio energy, okay? A lot of Scorpio energy. Let's see. Let's see what else. Yep, there you go. Transformation. So something that you guys have gone through, and as I started this whole reading out, I said that there was heavy energy this weekend, a lot of people went through a lot of changes. Here you go. There it is. Transformation. Death and transformation. Scorpio energy. So we're going to end it on that. If you guys want to go further with this, get a hold of me. I'd be more than happy to do readings. Um, let's do a couple little fun cards to end today with, okay? Mm, okay. I pulled the spirit, so spirit postcards for you guys, okay? It says, Dear you, sometimes you just feel like no one understand you you're not heard or even that you don't count this my dear is a terrible illusion and although your feelings tell you that abandonment is real well we who love you know better you are never alone and even when rejection happens you are ultimately being protected so better things can replace what wouldn't have worked out in the first place for you okay everyone on this side of the veil is watching over you and rooting for you for your ultimate success, life loves you, we love you, and you are a unique spark of the divine. And always connected to the light and to source, you are always in our care. Trust and keep in the faith. Love you always and forever, spirit. I, I love these cards. These are my spirit postcards, okay? I also pulled out for you guys, believe, okay, these are my fairy cards. I love, love, love these, okay? Believe in magic. Open your eyes and see the magic that's all around you in nature. The fairy of the northern lights says you are part of nature. You are magical too. See how pretty that card is? Okay, that's for you guys. Let's do one more round with the fairies. I love these cards, okay. And I'll throw you a couple little angels. Let's see what time we want. Okay, we got three more minutes. Um, oh, yeah, not numbers. I want you guys for this week. 
because there's been a lot of changes, a lot of transformations, cycles ending, rebirth. So I want you to use number 99, okay? 99 is one of the most high spiritual numbers out there. Helps when you're going through ascension symptoms or you're going through a transformation. Um, it's really a good one. What else was I put down? Hold on. 99, 99. And, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I want you to do 9999, okay? That is the biggest spiritual number. Um, it's to recharge your energy, your mind, your body, and soul. It helps you get totally balanced. But when you're going through a lot of spiritual stuff, awakening and everything, it helps, okay? Wait for winter, okay? So when this card comes up, you have one of two things going on. There was a situation that started in winter. And you're coming and circling back to it. Or it's transforming. Or end, or the cycle's closing. Or this winter coming up, there's going to be a major transformation in your life. Okay? To be a person, place, or thing. Let's see. One more thing about this. Tell us, Spirit. Hope. We had hope before and here as well, too. Okay? That was in this other card. Where is it? Yeah, hope, hope. So you get it twice. Don't lose hope, okay? If you're in a frustrating situation right now or you're not feeling good about something, don't lose hope, okay? Manifest. You can manifest whatever it is that you're maybe stressing over or going through, all right? Remember, guys, love, 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 okay? You got it. If you open up that heart chakra, you can love. Things can be good. Okay. This last one is hidden depths. Okay. Something hidden is about to come to light. Perhaps a secret or a memory or at the back of your mind. When we expose what's hidden, we become free. So there's something here that you guys need to free yourself from. And we also, where did it go? Oh, I should we had coming out of the hermit mode and we oh sorry scorpio energy here death and transformation okay so something's coming coming forward coming to an end all right let's flip you guys some little angel cards remember work on this week you guys your crown chakra moonstone number nine nine number nine 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 Keep those in mind. Let's see what the little... Alright, let's see what the little angels have to say. I love these cute little cards. They're stinking cute. What do they have to tell you guys? Oop. Yep, they start going. Alright. So... We have entanglements. I swear you guys had this last week, so... There could be some entanglements coming up or you're, this is what you've been transforming, what's like being put to rest. Could be that three party energy, broken hearts being done, okay? The now, okay? Live in the now, not the future, not the past. The past brings, if you think about the past and you live in it too much, you keep bringing it and manifesting it forward. And it, it, it doesn't go away. If you live too much in the future, you're not living in the now. So you're not manifesting the now. You're manifesting the future, which what happens in now changes the future. So work on now, okay, guys? You can do it. Work on now. Stay in the now. Adversity, okay? There may be some adversity coming up or you just came out from adversity. You'll know, okay? Signals. Synchronicities and signals, okay? Numbers, colors, names, songs, things like that. You'll there, you'll find answers in the synchronicities, okay? Did we talk? Oh my gosh, this is three times for hope. I don't know, maybe I'm repeating myself. I do that a lot. So hope again. We've had it in these cards already twice. Oh, I just said synchronicities. There you go. See it? Mm-hmm. Told you, synchronicities. Go down, you guys, into my playlist because um, I channel songs. There, I put songs in there I love. Um, it says Misk Music right now. I'm going to change it to Soul Sister um, Soul Sister Tunes. Um, but I put songs in there I channel, and they're for, for
for everyone. Sometimes they're specifically for someone. So you might go in there with a song you love or you shared with someone and I have it downloaded in my playlist and that is a synchronicity for you. Or there might be some of the songs I've downloaded that you listen to and there might be a message in there for you. So anyways, Spirit's telling me, go listen to my playlist. Plus, I put healing music in there. Um, so I've got a bunch of healing. There's one called healing music. And so when you're meditating, contemplating, or trying to make a decision, there's a lot of that music that will help you with getting your energy signature in line and balanced, okay? It's just a frequency, and all of this stuff helps, just like when you have Reiki, okay? Or we use singing bowls. I have a medicine stick. I have Chinese medicine balls. All those kinds of things help us tune into different frequencies that unblocks our chakras, and it opens us back up, and then we can get into balance, okay? Flexibility, okay? There might be something that you're gonna have to be really flexible about coming up. Um, but anyways, flexibility, it's out there, all right? Laughter, okay? Always bring laughter into everything. No matter how hard it is, try to find some laughter. That opens your heart back up, you guys. It really, really, really does. It helps you heal. Laughing is wonderful. I laugh all the time. I laugh at myself all the time. I mean, my kids and I, we are giant laughers. So anyways, I'm going to end that there. And it was so good to see you guys again. And wish you a wonderful week. And like I said, come back this week because I will. I am going to put a video out that will be on stones, crystals and stones. We're just going to have, we're, I'll probably do a part one and part two, but I'll get part one out this week. Be another oracle hour. I will do another video on where love the where love ends and where and begins and ends. Um, that whole series, another part of that. Um, and then I gotta get rid of the other signs out. And then we'll also have another video by the end of the week on transformation. So this is what's going on for you guys this week. And if you want a more de detailed reading, please get a hold of me. Okay, you guys, you have a wonderful rest of your week. Remember to live in the now. Do your very, very best because I know you can. And I send nothing but love and light to you guys. Have a great one. Bye-bye.